As a little kid, Ivory Lyman says she basically lived at the Iditarod checkpoint during the race. Now at 17, she volunteers to pitch in with the work. Basically help rake up the straw when the teams leave. And if a team wants to go through, uh, a couple of the volunteers will get uh, grab the gang line and help turn the sled wide so they can get through the chute. Her school does a mock Iditarod after the mushers pass through. That sparked her love of the sport. The dogs, I just love their different personalities. And the fact that even though you have the smallest dog, you can be the strongest. McGrath is 18 miles from Takatna, the next checkpoint along the trail. Teachers took Ivory on a trip on the same route. At first it was kind of nerve wracking. I was like, eee, I could hit a tree, or what if I go the wrong way? But it was pretty fun. We didn't get lost and it was pretty good. The trail was nice. She's watched dozens of teams pass through her hometown on their way to Nome. And one day Ivory might be one of them. Someday. Not yet, but soon. For now, she'll watch and learn from the sidelines until it's her turn to hit the trail. In McGrath, Heather Hinsey, KTVA 11 News.